All right. Good morning. Uh, Tuesday edition of Good Stuff. We've got special guest TJ in the house. Zach is just waking up. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys holding up today? Doing well. Doing well. Yeah. Same. It's awesome. good Tuesday. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about like what what are you guys doing to to manage your stress levels? I mean, like right now, I think that's it's it's known that everyone's kind of on a higher, you know, a higher level of stress because there's so much uncertainty, so many things that we can't control. Like we don't know when businesses are going to open up. And even if they do, you know, how many members can we bring in at, at any time? You know, there's just a ton of things in the air. What are you guys doing to kind of help, at least for yourself, not even for your, your business, but for yourself, what are you guys doing um, to help manage your stress? Yeah. I mean, I think Zach and I talked about this a little bit before we started, but you know, just keeping our similar routine, um, you know, waking up at the same time. Uh, I, I, I've, I've pivoted a little bit, you know, I'm coaching a lot of my online classes, uh, but the, my schedule remains pretty much the same, you know, eating quality foods, getting good eight hours of sleep, trying to work out at the same time. I think doing that um, has really not allowed my stress levels to elevate. I've been pretty consistent. So that routine and structure has been really good for me. Yeah, I think that's probably um, a, a major factor for myself as well. Like I, I break the day into like three blocks, you know, morning, an afternoon, and then evening. And I have kind of like a structure or a routine or like certain objectives to accomplish during each one of those blocks. And I think having that routine, having that structure eliminates the need for me to think ahead and it eliminates decision fatigue, which allows me to dedicate more energy to being in the present, in the now, in the moment. Right. And right. I think that's what actually, right. if, if you're not in the moment, I think that's what causes a lot of stress. So yeah, as far as specific activities, um, TJ said eating well, I, I, I personally feel like when my body's not healthy, my mind's not healthy and like it kind of like it's a domino effect from there. So I always make sure to prioritize like, Hey, I need to eat enough calories. I need to eat the right calories and I need to work out. I need to train. Yeah. Did, um, you know, did the social distancing or being on quarantine, uh, change any of that for you? Not me. <laughs> I work from home, uh, <laughs> mostly now anyway, since, the, since, um, since, uh, last February. So, uh, the one thing that I haven't been doing is traveling for HQ teaching seminars, but that was all, that was on the weekends only yeah. TJ. Imagine it, it changed for you quite a bit. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, pivoting to kind of the online approach, um, you know, all my classes are on zoom. And so, yes, I'm coaching still coaching, but it's, it's obviously a little bit different doing these on zoom. Um, but yeah, I've, I know I've tried to really structure my day similar to how they were before, but yeah, I mean, the consistency is, is still there for me. So I haven't seen much change besides I get to sleep in just a little bit longer cause I'm not coaching my 5am classes we are oh, my, yeah. uh, <laughs> my, uh, my first online class at 7am. So that's been a, that's kind of been a perk. That 5am class, man, that is like the bane of existence for a lot of gym owners. I don't, I don't get people that want to wake up that early and work but, out. So, <laughs> so I've been like on this, this kick of just waking up early every morning, yep. even on weekends. Um, back when I was coaching, I hated the 5am class. I mean, I loved it because the people there that would show up, they just want to get things done. They're consistent they were probably yeah. going to classes the most frequent, the most consistently. They were the most dedicated. The exactly. people that do that are the most dedicated. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's very little BS in the morning. It's just, yo, man, I really don't want to hear your, your rah, rah, rah. Just let me know just what coach. I need to do. Let's and do this. Let's get it yeah. done. Yeah. We call it the breakfast club. Yeah. But I hated waking up that early because you have to be the person to just get perked up to, to get these guys going. Um, but now I'm up at like almost four every morning. And not coaching. Dang. Four? Yeah. What's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Four a.m., man. I Four a.m. I, so I usually get up at like six, which is earlier than I would of my own volition anyway. <laughs> so I, I think I sleep yeah. in. It's going to be like five, five thirty. Wow. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, an early bird. I, I, uh, I, I love getting up early. I just feel like I'm so much more productive from like, that 5 a.m. window to noon. And then once I get to the afternoon, I'm, I'm not necessarily dragging, but I've like accomplished so much that I'm not like, I don't feel like I need to throttle on the gas so much. 
right you you, you lay off for the day like that's right. that's your going home your your downturn no right in a good sense i i totally get that and i totally feel the same way it's like i get up earlier um 6 a.m is is not super early at all but like that's earlier when you have nothing to do if you right. have nothing to do right and i agree with you dj like the 6 6 30 a.m to to noon for me is like my product productivity window right. and that's how i've structured my morning and i think that's one of the key ways that i've um, or structure my day. I think that's one of the key reasons why I don't feel so stressed with this whole pandemic thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been kind of switching things up a little bit and, and learning a little bit more about what makes my morning routine and what kind of leads itself or leads that to, to be a either less or more stressful day. Yeah. And for a while, like I would wake up early and try to get a ton done, like work out, listen to podcasts, listen to music, um, check, you know, every email and social media while I'm like, like on the treadmill or something. Um, and it was, just, it's too much, you know? So what I've done recently, and I think I've, I felt a lot better because of it is to, um, I forgot who I was listening to. Um, I was listening to another podcast. Um, and they had mentioned that you just need to protect your, um, protect your attention. Hmm. And so the, at least the last few mornings, what I've done, my, my go-to is always flip the phone on as soon as I wake up and just kind of get the get, day going, right. um, you know, checking social media and whatnot. And I've cut that. First thing I do, jam on my morning shake, hit the gym. I'll do maybe like 20, 30 minutes of cardio as I listen to, to a podcast that I, I really want to, to get into um, and not just be a background thing and then continue on my workout. And then after that, then I can get into kind of, you know, get into more work and more creative stuff. Um, but I've always been the type to just try to do everything at the same time. And for me, that ends up leading to higher stress levels because now you're trying to juggle a bunch of things, even if it's like, you know, your protected time in the morning. Um, so it's not one thing just to like plan out, you know, what you want to do, but um, really just take time to, um, I guess, yeah, just protect your attention. So you're not all over the place. Yeah. Let me jump on that because, um, and my wife taught me this, so I didn't get this from any podcast or anything. She, she like literally blocks out time her day to just like relax. And so I've actually blocked on time in my day where like, I'll just go sit outside, get some vitamin yeah. D, like get some sun and like doing that. It might be only, that's why you, you look know, so good. Dude. <laughs> man, that's good. All right. That, that's so underrated, man. It's so like Vitamin yeah, D just, sunlight is. Oh yeah. But like, like doing nothing. so stupid. Outside. I just did a podcast for my gym about mental health and stuff. And I was explaining this, like I've been trying to grow grass, like my backyard, it looks terrible. Right. So I'm trying to grow grass, <laughs> but like part, some of the best parts of my day is like taking that 10 minutes to go out there and water my grass and literally just think about nothing. And then I come back in and I'm like fully prepared to do whatever I need to do to get done. Yeah. So like just taking small windows for your day is, you know, can take your, your, your work ethic to another level just because you give yourself those mental breaks and, and establish those. And so it, it, it sort of refreshes you. Yeah, I agree. I think that's smart. Yep. Cool. I play video games too. <laughs> but video games, man, that could, that could be a slippery slope. You can, you can look <laughs> at the clock and it's like four hours later and you're like, where'd these four hours go? <laughs> four hours of awesomeness. I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, that's definitely happened to me more than once. But like, um, if, I, I do appreciate the times when I can go somewhere and shut my brain off. Um, I don't, I live in the desert, so we don't have grass to water, <laughs> but like, <laughs> it's very, it's very difficult for me to do that. So I need to either be watching a movie, reading a book or like playing video games because otherwise my mind will just start. If I have nothing to think about, like I'll start, my brain will start searching for things to worry about. Right. and be like, oh, I should be doing this. So it's almost like the video game, and that probably speaks more to a weakness of mine. Like I should probably spend time like learning how to meditate and, and free and clear up thoughts. But video games provide a distraction really because it forces me to focus on something and not think about other stuff. So, but I totally get that you could be, that distraction could last four hours. That's, I mean, but that's probably the hardest thing for, for any of us to, to learn to understand and apply 
because we all, you know, we're wired to, um, you know, we signed up to (laughs) take on a ton of problems and ton of issues to try to build something. And with that, like the job's Uh, never done. And I I think it it takes a certain person, a certain, you know, mentality to, to succeed at that, you know, and, and we're all in a position that we've, you know, done well for our businesses and we've built, you know, big things. Um, so you're just wired to, to try to figure out what the next thing is, um, you know, learn the next thing, but there's also a lot of, a lot of benefit, um, to just unplugging and detaching for just a little while. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I should probably take this time in quarantine to in lockdown to learn how to meditate. That'd probably be beneficial. You know, for me, it's been, it's been music. Mm -hmm. Um, cause I, I've tried to like listen to podcasts as I'm lifting music or lifting music, lifting weights. Um, and I can't like, it's just too much to handle, but if I'm just in the zone, just, uh, lifting and just listening to music, just like a long mix. Like I'm usually not thinking about anything other than just in my head and just banging out. That might work. Yeah. I think if you, I think if you try to meditate, it's just like with anything, it's all like progressive overload, right? You're not going to go in and try to meditate for like 30 minutes. Right. So you're going to go in there and you're going to try to do it for two minutes. Right. And Ooh. then you, the next day you go for three minutes and four minutes. So, there's an, there's an app for that. Too. Yeah. So yeah, like so it's that. like, of course it's like you continue to try to strengthen a muscle. Right. And so you're just trying to get better and better. Um, with that pocket, I keep re- referencing back to that podcast we just did. I think they had a great a- approach. It's like using all your senses, like sight, smell, sound, all that. So like, if you just go outside and just take like two minutes just to like listen to the birds, like smell the grass or the d- sand in your case, the <laughs> desert. So it's like using your senses and just kind of like bringing your uh, that fresh some, sand smell. I love yeah. It. You know, that nice Vegas smell. So yeah. uh, let's, uh, yeah, TJ, let's link that episode that you guys, you guys recorded. Let's link it in the, the uh, show notes here. Cool. Yeah. I think, cool. I think everything can, everyone can benefit from, you know, um, strengthening their mental health and, and, and Absolutely. establishing things like that. So, well, good guys. I mean, on that note, um, let's, uh, let's not dive too far into this. Let's take some, some good takeaways, you know, take some time for yourself, um, figure out a routine and a schedule. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways and one of the things that I see from at least us three, um, and how we manage, you know, our stress is, um, you know, give yourself a plan, give yourself, a, you know, something to follow. And then that way you can stay in the moment in whatever you're doing. And then you can tackle the next thing as it comes. But uh, along with that, make sure you're planning some time to, uh, to disconnect a little bit. It allows you to step back, take a breath, take a mental breath, um, and then hit it hard. I mean, definitely, we, we all know how to get things right. done. So that's never the issue. Um, but sometimes you're just so stuck in the mud that you need to take a step back. Yeah, and don't forget to work out, right? Like a lot of us started gyms because we've, had, we've seen so much benefit from working out and what it's done for us. Um, so don't get away from that. I know you're trying to operate and run a business, but at the same time, you know, taking 30 minutes to just do a quick workout can set the tone for a, a much better day. Mm-hmm. For sure. Absolutely. For sure. All right, gentlemen, uh, let's wrap that up here. Um, as always, if you found any benefit, um, on this video or our, what we'll kind of release as a podcast pretty soon, um, please like subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll have a lot more good stuff coming up in the future. All right. Yeah. Thanks guys. Have a good day. All right. See you later.